Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be unboxing some amazing gobies. I'm sorry for sounding like I just woke up and looking like it. It's actually because I did just wake up. I went to sleep like at six in the morning. It is now 10 o'clock when the package was delivered. I don't know why I went to sleep so late, but it was like the hardest thing to wake up for this package. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So yeah, I was really excited to get these gobies. I've been wanting these gobies for a very long time, but I just never really had the proper tank for them. I noticed that gobies really prefer to be in like a cold setup, in a colder setup, in a subtropical. But I ordered these go these fish from aquaticarts.com. I've ordered from them before. I think two times before, and I actually had with great success. They have great customer service, and they're always paying attention. So. You guys should check them out. This is not sponsored. I don't have a coupon code. They do have some pretty cool fish every now and then. They usually have something cool in stock, you know, something. But we'll have to see. Oh, is this a sticker? Why look at all this plain ass fish as a sticker? Like, no offense to anybody who likes these cichlids, but like, at least make it a pretty cichlid. Like, this is just like a colorless. Like, what that? What am I doing with that? Nothing. The rainbow gobies look big as fuck. Like, I was not expecting that at all. Okay. Let's go to my six actual period. And I've never <laughs> seen gobies this tiny. Jeez, they look so young. How do they get them so tiny, man? Now these are my rainbow gobies. First of all, this gobie looks like he's gonna be like freaking two years old. He's huge. He's huge compared to the other ones. Look at him. Can you see that boy? He's like trying to get out. He's facing me. Don't he worry about putting all 12 fish together, to be honest. And then I got this wisteria. This poor little sack piece of wisteria. I was like, you know what? I need something quick to grow fast. Let me get it. Let, it, let me let it propagate my 40 gallon real quick with these fish. Give them some cover. Hey guys, we're inside my fish room now and we're going to be acclimating, temperature acclimating the gobies. Look at this pot, it's dumb cute. It's so cute, right? It's a little, it was a honey jar, but now it's repurposed. It wasn't even washed. Ooh, it almost jumped out. Get out the bag, boy. They look beautiful. One, two. Guys, get out. You're going to miss claiming your territories. Three. There's still three in the net. <laughs> They're so silly. They need help. They're confused. So this is me just cleaning up any water that's left on the floor and wiping the glass clean of any water spots. I try not to have any light on 
or any LED lights or aquarium lights over the tank for the first few days of the fish being in my house because shipping is extremely stressful on the fish and I don't want to I would like the tank to be as calm and nice for them as possible maybe just the first day to be honest I'm kind of exaggerating it is very normal for fish to be colorless after shipping or after you just bring them home some fish actually really color up very quickly when you bring them home I noticed like guppies and some other things like that but wild caught fish and fish that are more reclusive and like Heidi usually take a day to color up I noticed that gobies in particular really take a day or two to color up I don't know what it is maybe it's just the adjustment to our tap water because they are from the wild and don't worry guys I know you're probably worried for me like why is this guy's tank still on the ground but I actually set up the fish tank stand I think the very next day and I moved the fish room around so I can have space for this thing. So everything looks very beautiful. And I believe I skated it actually a week later. So stay tuned for that video and just enjoy some footage of them swimming around.
So I'm sure you guys noticed that I added the White Cloud Mountain Minnows into the tank and everybody gets along so great. I literally am so happy every time I look at this tank. The schooling behavior that I get here is phenomenal. It really wasn't something that I expected to see. Just to see the two different fish school together is so fulfilling. The two different color schemes and everything that they have going on just really, um, they really bounce off of each other well. Now I will be scaping this tank. I'm not going to be leaving it bare. It's only bare right now to serve the purpose of a quarantine tank, you know, while I get all the medications in and make sure everybody is pooping normally, you know, paying attention to fish poop is very important actually. Making sure that the poop is normal and solid and not stringy and white is key to making sure that the fish is not sick with internal parasites. One very key way to tell if your fish has internal parasites is to look out for long stringy white poops that it may have actually one time i actually saw actually two times i saw fish poop out worms and it was so gross the worms were actually very long and disgusting one time the worm was dead and another time the worm was alive and another fish ate it and i'm pretty sure it got infected with it but now that the medications are running through and everything is completely done and I'm sure that, that the fish are 100% healthy, I'm going to be scaping, scaping the tank and making sure that it looks beautiful. One thing to keep in mind when you're scaping your fish tank is the type of color of decorations that you're putting in there. If you're putting in a lot of white and light colored decorations and substrate like white sand and white rocks and things like that, your fish are going to stay kind of pale and not really exhibit their full potential. I mean, unless it's certain fish that are white and you want to be lighter, then that's up to you. You know, go do you girl, go do you. But I prefer the fish to be very deep in color. So I'm going to be selecting a black substrate with darker tone materials, like, uh, you know, darker tone hardscapes, like woods and rocks and stuff like that. So. Also guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. All that stuff really helps. I want to get my stuff pushed into the algorithm. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the Rainbow Shiners, of the Gobies. Do you like Gobies? Are they your favorite? Because right now, Gobies and Rainbow Shiners are my fave. They've been my favorite since January of 2019, and I literally, my, my obsession cannot end. I am so obsessed with gobies and I just research them all the time and watch video after video like as much as I can. I'm pretty sure I've seen every single goby video on YouTube so far. So yeah, um, with that being said, I'll see you guys. Please have a great night and I love you. Bye.